Hi, this is Worth of YoDemo.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you about H XHTML and all the tags that come along with it. No, I'm not going to teach you every single last tag because they're quite a bit, but I want to show you, uh, give you an overall view of the tags that are available. So we know how to set up an HTML document. Now we want to learn what to put inside of that HTML document. So at uh, w3schools.com slash tag slash default ASP. Don't worry, I'll put the link in with uh, the video. Um, we'll, we see all the tags available for HTML. And as you saw with that scroll, um, it's quite a few. But don't worry, you don't need to know every single tag inside of HTML. And in fact, let's look at some of the tags here. We know we can see that uh, deprecated, which means it's going to find its way out of HTML. Um, with HTML, they build it and they find that they have other tags that pretty much do the same thing, so there's no reason to keep it. Uh, for instance, I'm pretty sure that eventually uh, bold will be taken out of HTML uh, because we usually use style to style it. Um, when I mean style, I mean CSS, a cascading style sheets, which help decorate your HTML. So we, as we scroll through, we see a few tags that interest us. Like, hey, you know, what's this big tag? Well, we know what the body tag is, and, and we know a few of these tags. So the tags that I want to look at today are just uh, tags that help with formatting. So let's look at the first tag that I want to bring up, which is BR, which makes a single line break. This is important. Um, and as I said, we're just exploring a few of the tags, but if I were you, I would, you know, just look at them and see which ones would help you out the most. My uh, building of HTML sites, I don't really use that many tags. If, if I could, I could probably say I use maybe 20 tags or so, probably less than that. But let's go inside of Notepad++ and use a few of these tags in some simple text editing. Right now, I'm inside of Notepad++, and I have a blank XHTML document. And inside of the document's body, I want to place some text. So what I'm going to do is go to the view, and I want to turn on Word Wrap. The reason is because I have a lot of text, and I want it to not just go out in a long straight line. So now I can paste it. Now that I've pasted my text, I'm going to save it, and I'm going to go to the Run, and run inside of... Mozilla Firefox. And when we run it in Firefox, it looks pretty good. Uh, it has all the text showing. Nothing special, but let's look at this first sentence. Let's use that break tag to uh, break it off. So inside of my HTML, I'll go up to the period right there and put in the bracket, so br slash, and I close it. Now, this is an empty node. And I'll show you the difference. You see this BR, how it just opens and it doesn't have a closing? This is different towards, let's say, the body tag, which there's a body opening and a body close. But this just needs one item, so you basically write BR slash and you have it close. So that's why it's called empty. There's nothing inside of it, opposed to the body where there's content inside of the body tag and just like the head and just like the, t the title. So let's look at it now with this short break in it. Let's save it and r run it back inside of Firefox. Now we see a, a line that has been returned, just one single return, uh, nothing special. So now that we did one return, let's use the paragraph text. Uh, most of these uh, tags that I'll use, it's just simple formatting. So I'm going to take out this break tag, and I'm going to put in the paragraph tag, which is just P there. And let's say the second sentence, which is over here, I'm going to close that paragraph tag. So P, and I close it. And I'm going to save it and run it again. We can see with the paragraph tag, it completely leaves one line open so you can differentiate one paragraph from the other. So let's go back into the HTML and use a few more tags. As we're seeing how to use these tags, you, you can see that it's pretty simple, just straightforward using the tags. Uh, 
I'm going to make this word here bold and I just simply put a B right there and I close it in the B. I don't want the period to be bold and I close that tag and I, I'll save it and I'll try it out. So now we can see that that word is bold and this is pretty much how you create your your text editing. You know, I had the return, made it bold and there are a few more tags. Uh, I'll go through maybe two more. One item we can use is italicize, which is just an I. And we open that and we'll close that in that brace. So now anything in between this it will be italicized. So let's save it and run it in Firefox. So we see this italicized. We have a paragraph and we have bold. So this is just some f a few simple editing that we can use inside of XHTML for text formatting. As I said before, there's so many tags, so go check them out and see which ones you can use for your HTML document. Uh, thanks for watching this Yo Demo tutorial. If you like these tutorials, don't forget to rate, subscribe, comment, and also go to my website. Click on a sponsor to support YoDemo.com which is a good idea. You should go to yodemo.com and click on a sponsor. Come on. Seriously.